Hi, I'm Stewie 3D, and uh, under that coin there is my new Wi-Fi card for my uh, HP Omen. And um, wasn't it, well, I didn't when I saw the letters come through the door today. I didn't expect it to be in there because it wasn't in a jiffy bag. It was just in a standard paper envelope. But I can see why now. I just I can't get over how tiny these M2 cards are. I thought, ah, oh, yeah, it looks big. Yeah, in all the pictures, they look bigger than that because, um, and then when you see the internals of the laptop, you think, oh, yeah, I'll be able to turn it, tear it, take it apart, you know, unscrew it, pop it out, put the new antennas on. But this thing is absolutely tiny. I'm going to hold it so you don't see all the serial numbers and stuff. But look at those connectors. I can't even zoom. There you go. Next to my, f I'm actually really nervous about putting this in the Omen, because I'm absolutely terrified. I could get it in and out, that's not a problem, but those antenna connectors, that's what's worrying me. It's absolutely tiny. I mean, I, I was expecting it to be bigger than that. I was expecting it to be probably about half again as big, but yeah, so it's arrived. Uh, I'm just waiting on my RAM to arrive. I ordered a 80GB uh, stick off Amazon in the end, brand spanking new Crucial RAM, um, because uh, the seller's warranty on the second-hand RAM was only seven days, and it isn't really enough time to put the RAM through its paces to see if there's any sort of little niggles what might present themselves in the future which could, could cause issues. So I, I opted for brand new in the end, so I will have a total of 12 gig when it's updated. But the embarrassing thing is when a geezer in the Outer Hebrides, now if you don't know your uh, geography very well, uh, if you're not uh, in, in the UK, the Outer Hebrides are a very small island group right at the top of Scotland. Um, really remote islands. But yeah, the geezer, I ordered this at about half past midnight on um, Friday morning and it's arrived today. And it's embarrassing that a geezer can get, a single guy can get me this Wi-Fi card quicker than Amazon have even, dis, Amazon haven't even dispatched my RAM yet. They estimate it's going to be another couple of days, which leads me to believe, and uh, a lot of speculation online is that Amazon are now deliberately slowing down non-prime orders to uh, try and push the prime service, which if they're going to do that, then they're going to lose customers, because... I only order something once in a blue moon off Amazon, you know, I'm not a regular Amazon user, so I wouldn't spend 70 quid a year for fast shipping, which might only get used like twice. And uh, it used to be with free shipping, you used to do the free shipping, and it used to come even on Sundays, it used to be brilliant, but I've heard that Amazon are losing a lot of money by their dispatch and, and their, um, their courier service, so uh, yeah, it looks like they're focusing on the prime customers first. Which is a shame, really, but I've ordered it and paid for it now, so I'm going to have to wait for it to arrive. But, yeah, the, this is the Intel 8265NGW to replace the Intel 7265 that's in there. Uh, as you well know, it's um, I've been having some uh, Wi-Fi issues, and um, it turns out there's a compatibility issue between the Wi-Fi card and the laptop and the uh, ASUS router. The Wi-Fi card and the laptop will connect to the home hub, no problems at all, but the home hub is a crap router because the software on it is useless. Yeah, um, the ASUS will connect to everything else in the house, no pro problems at all. And the laptop would connect to the ASUS for the last few months, absolutely perfect. It's only in the last couple of weeks that I've had loads of issues with it. And I've tried various drivers, various firmwares on the router, um, even to different operating systems. Even Ubuntu had the same issue, which uh, makes me think there's a sudden incompatibility. The 7260 and 7265 are known for being slightly crap cards anyway. And the 8 series, which is what this is, is uh, known for being much better. And it also supports um, some of the new features, what my router also supports such as the uh, multi-user, multiple in, multiple out for the new Wave 2 AC stuff. So it should make things a lot better anyway. It's not going to be faster headline speed. It's still the same 867, but it's got slightly newer Bluetooth. It's Bluetooth 4.2 as opposed to Bluetooth 4. And um, yeah, it's uh, newer Wave 2 stuff. And it should be a bit more reliable. Um, chose the 8265 because the wife's work laptop has the 8260 in it. And that has never had an issue on our network. So 
yeah, gone for the A265. But yeah, the purpose of this video is just to highlight how bloody tiny M2 cards are. I was not expecting it to be that small. And those antenna connectors really scare the crap out of me. I'm not one for a uh, delicate touch, you know, I've got big fat sausage fingers. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be interesting to replace that. The RAM will be easy, but the Wi-Fi card, the antennas might present an issue. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.